All right, RVers and future RVers, have you seen the show Ozark? Behind me is the Force River Ozark, and just like the show, there's a lot going on. This one is the 2440 BHK. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go review this floor plan. All right, standing outside on the 2024 Force River Ozark 2440 BHK, tons of stuff to cover on the outside. Starting up front, we have a big wide pass-through storage that you can access both sides, give you an ample amount of space to throw big ticket uh, camping items like a lot of your chairs and your awning mats and stuff. And talk about the awning. I love the awning on this side. We have basically the span of the whole trailer under cover that we can have big time party or patio time and lights at the top that give me that illumination especially if the party goes on after the sun sets and outside wouldn't be party or patio time if we didn't have some items like the refrigerator here that we can throw some of our beverages in without having to uh, go into the camper and a slide out of uh, a flat top griddle if you haven't used one of these, you've got to get one, even for your house. They make cooking so, uh, such a breeze and so uh, versatile in what you can cook. And again, party patio time wouldn't be anything without some tunes, right? We have two speakers on the outside that we can control and throw up some, some good music and get that chill vibe going for us at the campsite. Of course, you have electric outlet here that if you want to hook up anything else, like maybe even some more cooktop items and such. Moving to the back, I've got a note, if, you, if you've been RVing, you know what I mean with the, with the jacks, they're a little cumbersome. You pull in your campsite, especially if it's at night, kids are in the back seat crying, are we there yet, that kind of thing. This jack setup is by Lippert. It's a quick drop stabilizer. It allows you to just get your uh, camper stabilized that much faster. Drop it down a little bit. There's a pin here that we can pull allows the jack to just drop really fast. And then we can come back with our jack handle and just snug it up. So that way our setup time is gonna be cut in half easily. And the last thing that I wanna note on this camper on the outside is this big door in the back. It's not an entrance door, although the kids will probably love climbing up in and out of it. But this gives us a big wide area to throw up the bunk bed up out of the way. We have tie downs on the floor. So if we have any of those big gear items like our bikes, uh, kayaks or anything that we need to be able to stow in here and keep the truck free or the SUV free, we can do that and tie it down with a lot of security. Again, the 2024 Force River Ozark 2440 BHK. All right, we're coming inside the 2024 Force River Ozark 2440 BHK, and immediately I am smacked with a lot of light, a lot of openness feeling to, the, to this camper. We have windows all over the place, big, nice, tall windows, and the ceilings are a little bit taller than your traditional camper. And this is all at 26 feet with a slide out. So stick with me through the whole video. We're gonna go from front to back. There's a lot to talk about here. But when you come into the door, uh, on the door side here, you have your control panel. And the one quick thing other than, than the obvious buttons that I wanted to point out is a tank heater button. This um, economy model, if you will, is even equipped with tank heater pads. So as we get into some of, we're from Maryland, so we get into some crazy uh, Maryland weather like we have this past week where it's 60 degrees one day and 30 degrees the next day. You don't wanna be out trick or treating uh, at, at, a, at a campground and then be caught with a cold spell. So this way the tank heaters you can flip on and uh, keep some heat uh, elevated uh, um, um, down underneath to, to keep some heat so the tanks don't freeze up. So it is a cool, quick feature that I really had to point out on this, on, on this camper. But anyway, back to what I was saying, we're gonna work from front to back. Up front, I walk into, I've got a Murphy bed uh, set up here with a lot of storage up front. We have a shirt closet on either side. We've got some storage at the top. And then each side even has like a little nightstand kind of set up with some storage uh, at either side that gives me a lot of space to really tuck uh, a lot of my camping gear away, especially with that Maryland weather. We don't know how to dress, so we've got to bring um, appropriate uh, clothing for, for both climates. But even up underneath, they've taken this uh, space to 
to give me some uh, storage uh, totes. I just thought that was great because again, if, you, if you've if you RV'd, you know that there's gonna be some stuff coming from the house into the camper and vice versa. Just an easy way to load some of those household items inside the house into this, bring it and just throw it in the camper, turn the key and get camping, right? But as I said, this is a Murphy bed. So by day we've got our sofa set up here that we can entertain, kind of chill out, relax, throw a TV, uh, TV on. But by night, you simply just kind of like a futon style, lay that flat, bring your mattress down, and now you've got a full bed for, for a couple adults. Easy peasy, right? And what I was, um, and when I was saying relaxing, we've got a we've got a lot of uh, seating area in this camper. Of course, with the sofa up here, we've got a nice big U-shaped dinette that's um, easily I can move the table around based on if I've got two people here. If I have four people, gives me that flexibility to just make it the way I need to make it. Uh, especially as you see later in the video, we've got bunk beds in the back. We've got kids coming, they've got friends. We're going to need the seating area, so. Um, plenty of space with a big deep slide out to give me a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, uh, I guess, livability, kind of a good, good big feel in this uh, smaller camper. And speaking of sitting, the kitchen here, bar top uh, style, really cool, has two chairs that you can utilize, make it like your little brook, uh, <laughs> brook your little breakfast uh, nook area. But on top of that is just tons and tons of counter space. So I can throw, out, I love my coffee, I gotta throw my coffee pot up here. And it doesn't impede, uh, give it, you know, being able to still meal prep or do some dishes and things like that. Um, over here is a place for a TV, so that way you can customize and put in the size TV that you feel that's fit um, you know, for your camper or for your viewing style. But continuing with the kitchen, we have storage not only below the sink, we have above the, the stove top, so it gives me a lot of space to throw um, a lot of uh, pantry items, pots and pans, etc. I like how what they did here, um, flip up the stove top, you've got a three burner stove, but I've had quite a few campers and gone and even taken a lot of other campers here that um, uh, for some quick trips and really don't use my oven too much. So a nice space saver that they've done is instead of an oven here, they've they've tucked the microwave under here so we can still get into zapping some food like some popcorn or something. But it really has taken space in my mind um, in place of something that you probably won't use where the microwave you'll definitely use. We have a large refrigerator freezer to throw all those goodies in there for a long trip if we decide, if it's not just a, a quick weekend. But really, if you got all this space here and you've got bunk beds, you've got a lot of ton uh, sp uh, sleeping area, you gotta have a lot of food, right? So we have a large pantry set up next to the booth with, from uh, the to uh, floor to ceiling. We can really tuck in, you can see the depth here, we can tuck in a lot of stuff in there. Maybe some board games, maybe even just the kids' gears if you want gear, if you want to throw in some book bags and some clothes that way. And speaking of the kids, like I said, bunk beds, right? L nice use of the bunk beds here, kind of double up on their purpose. We have uh, double over double with some nice uh, mattress, soft mattress here. Blackout shades for the windows or in the back, they can close off the curtains. But if you notice here, we don't have the traditional bed frame here. And if you watched the, uh, earlier in the video, we opened that door on the back side of the camper. Well, it opens up to this cavity here. We can lift this up out of the way. It double hinges, throw all this up against the wall. And now we have this large space here to use however we choose. Like I was saying uh, previous in, or earlier in the video, bikes, kayaks, or maybe just have a lot of more totes that you can put in here especially if you're towing with a large SUV on this trailer. And again, um, I mentioned earlier in the video, 26 foot, about 6,000 pounds. We can get into some of those uh, bigger, like suburban type SUVs and still have enough vehicle to tow a smaller trailer like this. And last, we end with the bathroom. I love the bathroom here, just for a couple things. One, we have tucked away off to the side, we have some linen space so we can throw in some extra towels. I mean, you're gonna sleep probably one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six to eight in this. So we definitely have to have some storage to throw some extra towels and such. But the shower is nice and wide. It's got plenty of elbow space, plenty of height. And I love the, the styling of this um, uh, shower curtain here that uh, just easily tucks away out of, out of, out of, um, out of the way. But 
The window, we, I've seen a lot of campers that don't have a window. Think about it when you're home, you're running a nice hot shower. Where is all that condensation going? So between your roof vent and maybe even cracking the window open, other than just the light, we have a way to get rid of some of that condensation. But they have a vanity over top the sink. We have space underneath the sink so we can throw even more toiletries. So again, that's a, just a nice use of space and storage for, for this camper. So again, the 2024 Forest River Ozark 2440BHK. All right, there you have it. What do you think? A lot going on with the 2024 Forest River Ozark 2440BHK. Give us a thumbs up if you agree. I think so with the outside features, the inside features in a 26 foot footprint with plenty of sleeping space and a slide out. Come on. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Hope you enjoyed the RV tour. Comment below if you've got any questions or want to see anything further and show us some love. Smash that subscribe button. We'll see you out at the campsites.